all of you that say that my videos have helped you well I'm going to give you a chance to help me now and uh, hopefully you'll be able to help me I'm getting ready to glue these inserts into this Les Paul okay now I've got Gorilla Glue here have you guys ever seen Gorilla Glue that looked like that You ever seen that before? You ever, any of y'all ever used it? It's, it's like, it's almost clear. It's got a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. Kind of yellow, but it's not enough to show up on there. Anyways, I'm going to conduct a little experiment here this evening and uh, show you guys where you along for the ride. I don't know, man, about using this on that guitar. It's Gorilla Glue, it says on the bottle. It will stick to anything. I'm, I'm really very raspy been out in the wind we're having another wind storm like we always have here like the video I made the other night we're having another one right now and yeah, I doubt you can hear it through this well insulated house but anyways been out in it all day <coughs> losing my voice uh, if it says on the back of the bottle it'll stick to anything now that's what it says it will uh, you can glue anything you can glue two pieces of glass together with it and guaranteed to hold that's what it says but I glued a little bit of, I used a little bit of this on a pair of glasses that my wife broke right in the center of the glasses, the part that uh, crosses your nose. And uh, it held, it held the glasses okay, but I could just chip away, you know, the excess, excessive glue. I could just pull it away with my fingers, and if I remember right, it felt rubbery-like, you know what I mean? It didn't feel hard. Now I have the famous JB Weld, I'm sure everybody knows about that. I thought about using that. I know for a fact that shit gets hard, man. When it sets up, it takes a long time to set up. What does this too? It says, I think it's 24 hours for that to set up. But I know for a fact from experience, this JB Weld, it's not JB Quick. The Quick's good, but I think this gets harder than the Quick does. Anyways, come on over. Let's do a little bit of a, a funky little experiment with this. And you guys give me your opinion on which glue you think I should use. To glue those inserts back in the guitar. Hold on. Well, I can do that naturally now. See this stuff right here. JB Weld. This is very old. It's just still enough in there to do that though. It's not hardened. You got to mix it up. And it turns kind of a grayish uh, color. And I just, I th I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Because I know how hard that stuff gets. And, you know, not likely it's ever going to break. This I am not sure with. I don't have that much experience with this brand and type. All I'm going to do is just pour a little out on that wax paper right there. And I done dropped the lid. Uh, nothing unusual. Just pour a little bit of it out on that wax paper there. And let that set up. 24 hours, that's what the bottle says. And then we'll come back here and we'll see if it... Uh, if it's rubbery or spongy or if it's like rock or what. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. It's there, believe me. Now I'm just going to leave that lay there. There it is. <laughs> wow. Some days nothing goes right. Most days. It's just a little dot. I mean, compared to a guitar pick, you can see it's not very much but it'll be enough once it sets up it'll be enough and then we can determine if it gets as hard as this stuff does like I say I know for a fact that shit right there gets hard man I've glued steel parts together with it before and uh, I can't remember what it was oh yeah it was a magnet inside of an electric motor glued it to the inside of the housing two of them well I've done it two times <laughs> oddly enough and it worked. The motors ran, everything, it, it, it never did let go. So, I don't know if I could do that very same thing with this glue or not. Gorilla glue, clear Gorilla glue. I guess we'll see. So I'll come back here tomorrow, check that, and uh, see how hard it, or soft it is. Wow, the wind is ripping, man. I'm not, I doubt you can hear it. Uh, but I still want to hear your... It, what would you do? Which one would you use? Would you use something totally different from both of these? 
the JB Weld, I have a lot of faith in that stuff, man. I've always had good luck with it. And like I say, I glued my wife's glasses together with that. And they held okay, but the excess of glue around, I could just take my fingernail and peel it away. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do that with JB Weld. So I'm thinking maybe it would be better than the Gorilla Glue to glue them inserts in. Because I'm going to get done with this guitar and not work on it no more. <laughs> you know, just play it. Uh, I was going to show you, this turned out pretty good, where I clamped it down. I think you saw that video by now. Where I put this big band clamp on it. And then uh, clamped it back down, filled the whole uh, cracks in the hole. And then clamped it. I used wood glue for that, because it's wood. Uh... I don't know guys, what about J.B. Weld it's gluing, uh, would it stick to wood? I don't, I don't know that. These containers are so messed up you can't read the off of them anymore. You can't read the instructions. So let me know, what would you do? Would you risk the Gorilla Glue, really, over J.B. Weld? J.B. Weld's awful good, man. I know that to be a fact. Cheers. Thanks for watching. It'd be interesting to see your comments. Check that out, folks. Ooh, boogity bop. Yeah, it's lacked off now. And I open the door, it would. I know you can't see anything, but maybe you can hear it. Yeah, right now it's calm. Wow, when I was headed for the door, it was <laughs> ripping through here. That's the way it does. It gusts up to ungodly speeds, and then it, it's almost calm. You can hear the wind chimes over there a little bit. Cheers. See you soon. All right, folks, this is the next day. And right now, what you're watching right now is 24 hours since you what you just finished watching. <laughs> and it should be dry, and it is dry. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. There you can see it, and it's all shininess. Try to look in the camera and do that. I should back you off a little bit. There it is. They say this glue will stick to everything. Look at this. It don't stick to wax paper very good. Now, if this was, if this, wow, if that was this JB Weld, and we had a piece of it like this, you would not be able to do this. Can you see that? Look how that bends. That's very soft. So, you know, if I, had, if I would have poured some of this on there, I can tell you for a fact, you would not be in that. That would be like, like steel. <laughs> I mean, it, literally, it would. Well, it says on there, steel. It says right there. Oh, where's the camera? I don't know if the camera's focusing on that or not. Right there, it says steel. I can't get the camera. Work. Wow, man, nothing ever works, does it? Well, anyway, just take my word for it. It says steel on that one and hardener on that one. Come on, man. Do you believe it? <laughs> I always have shit for luck. I mean, yeah, I'm used to it, but I just hate it when it happens on camera for you guys. Anyways, it says hardener on that one. And, and uh, steel on the other one. So let me know what you think. I think we should use the JB Weld uh, instead of this Gorilla Glue. It does dry clear, rather clear like. But I mean, you know, I think the harder the, the glue is, the better. And this stuff too says it will bond anything. You can bond glass with it, you know, as thick as glass is. Epoxy steel resin and epoxy steel hardener. This is very old, but there's still some it's still good. Let me know. Put in the comments below what you think would be best to glue these into this guitar. Like I said before, I'm going to take this tape off because, you know, if I put glue around the tape and drive that down in there, there's still a chance that the uh, insert could slide up out of the tape. So I'm going to take the tape off. And this is going to be the insert, you know, against wood. Uh, probably with this between. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Oh, 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 you did say that my videos have helped you. 
Well, I'm going to give you a chance to help me now. 